What are going on guys and welcome to Chris's crew and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you if it's actually needed to QA toggle your PS3 or not So I had this guy and the comment will show up right now on my screen and this guy actually asked me um, Or actually said to me help me man. I've done all the steps and I can go online So he watched the video how to get online after Sony actually patched or switch servers However, then he said however my toggle QA doesn't work. I'm on Habib 4.66 so in this tutorial what I showed you, basically what you had to do was get, end up actually being on 4.66 Khabib firmware and what is actually to you, QA toggle basically is something, or that's what people say, that actually allows you to downgrade back to 3.55 but you need to actually install your PS3 when it's in 3.55 and in today's video I'm going to be showing you that it's actually no needed and that I actually never installed it on my PS3 and actually show you, I'll show you go to all the I'll go through all the homebrew apps I have on my PS3. So bear with me a second while I'm plugging my USB and I'll show you that I'll have the 3.55.4 reboot downgrader on my USB. Give me a second. Okay, so as my USB is plugged in, I'll go through everything and you can see I don't have anything that had to do with QA toggle installed and if you installed QA toggle, QA flag, whatever you want to pronounce it, you have to do a certain combination and I'm doing the combination and nothing brings up on my homebrew so I mean everything works I mean or as I should say everything shows proof that I'm not on anything else and I'll show you that I have online access because I'm still on 4.66 Habib and this is the Kex version by the way because there's no Dex version because nobody on Dex can sign in right now and as you can see I'm signed in on my Destiny cam because I was playing last night Destiny so and before we're gonna do this, I'm just gonna show you one more time that I am on uh, 4.66 and that I am on Kex. So I'm quickly going into Rebook Toolbox. Just bear with me a second, guys. Just to prove that, you know, and sorry for that. Um, just to prove to you guys that everything is fine. And as you can see, 4.66 LV2 kernels Kex, target type Kex. Okay, so let's back this out. And then let's go into the tutorial, or actually into the proof that you can just downgrade your PS3 to was on Kex. So first of all, like I already said, you have to sign off, and I did that already, so that was good. Now what you have to do is go to System Update, and obviously put your USB stick in the most wired slot, because that is really important. Then, as you can see, Update via Storage Media, you're going to select this. And you can see 3.55.4 PS3 update.pup. You could also save it on your PS PS3. So next time when you want to downgrade or anything, it will come up here. Um, update via system storage instead of update via storage media. But I'm just gonna do it from a USB like I always do it. And as you can see, I'm now installing the 3.55 thing without getting any errors. Now I'm gonna skip this part because this might take a little long. And I'll catch you guys when it's actually done. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, and as you can see right now my PS3 started up again and I'm gonna show you now that I am on 3.55 after I turned on my controller. So give me a second. Um and I'm not sure if you I'm gonna try um I'm not too sure if I'm gonna cut this out the installing port of or if I'm just gonna speed it up. But as you can see at a certain point it just jumped from like 30% to 100% and that usually always happens for me when I'm installing a downgrade or when I'm installing a lower firmware instead of the newer firmware so not to show what that's up but it's not bad at all so don't worry about that now let's go into system software or system information and as you can see we are in 3.55 and the kernel is still Kex and the target type is Kex2 now this actually showed you guys that you could actually downgrade your PS3 without having QA flag or QA toggle installed on your PS3 and the reason why I actually never installed well first of all I find it really strange that something a weird ass uh, Chinese and not if, no offense or racist at all but why would a Chinese or um Chinese, Japan, whatever package file allow you to downgrade to 3.55 if you could do it without. I mean, if someone installed it already, you should see you get like this package file on your XMB and if you open it or it's here, I don't know, it's like in debug settings. But debug settings just showed up because I installed um, a rebook firmware and they have re um, debug settings. However, what I was trying to say, um, you if you get the, if you install QA toggle, you get like this weird ass package program somewhere here and if you open it it's all with Chinese letters 
and that's actually one of the reasons I wouldn't really install it. No offense, but it just doesn't really make sense. That it would actually allow you to downgrade back to 3.55 if the downgrade that I use the entire time works perfectly fine. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and for the people still that are not 100% confident, just install QE Toggle when you're in 3.55 if you trust it more. I just never done it and I just find no reason for that. Now anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe if it helped you out. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to check the link down below if you want to get your hands on these no-scope glasses. And with that being said guys, comment down below what you think about this video. And definitely like and subscribe if you haven't already. Peace!